Hey everybody, so no Talkie Tuesday for a good reason, and that is that I just felt like it was crap when it came down to it. I was having some problems getting it uploaded Tuesday, rewatched it yesterday, and I just didn't care about it anymore. And I'm not gonna put a video up that I don't care about. In the midst of all of that, I have found myself in, in an emotional space that and I, I mean, I said it on, on Twitter that I feel like I'm in a high functioning existential crisis right now. And yeah, it's a little jokey, but it's also pretty accurate because I feel like everything is out of control in my life. And while there are some things that are going all right, for the most part, it's all been kind of shit the past few weeks, um, few months, just... So I thought that instead of putting up a video that I didn't really care about, I would sit and chat about the things that are going on with me, kind of um, to let me rant it all out, I guess, to vent and maybe to start a conversation. I guess the best place to start is just being very unhappy with pretty much everything going on in my life, around my life. I have a lot of issues as you know or maybe you don't but I'll just breeze over that I have a lot of physical and mental things going on. I am constantly in a state of battle with my body in one way or another and lately it's kind of gotten a little bit worse on the physical side. Although strangely enough I'm able to sit on my floor and be okay today which is one of those weird things that my body is kind of doing better in some areas, but then doing worse in others. And this is like one of those is that I can sit on the floor and be comfortable because usually I can't. It's usually uh, not able to get down here. If I am on the floor, how in the hell am I going to get back up? But anyway, <laughs> so that's one of the crazy quirks about my body that I deal with. But lately it's gotten to the point where I don't I don't even really want to leave the house. <laughs> I wish I could just do my job over the phone or like FaceTime somebody instead of actually having to leave because I just don't feel comfortable going out. I have also started big time the past week or so. I mean, I didn't put makeup on for a good reason for this video and that's so I could point out all the crap that I've been doing to my face. And it's not just my face, I do it all over. But if you can see this one right here, that big old thing there. Started off as a tiny little pimple and I dug and dug and dug at it the past few days that now it's this big scab and yeah. Don't touch it, Sammy. The whole point of this is talking about to not touch it. But anytime that I have any kind of bump, I mean, you can kind of see here, this one up here is kind of like a blood blister now because I've messed with it so much. I pick at my skin a lot. I chew the inside of my mouth. I bite my lips, all of that stuff. And I've done it for ever. <laughs> I don't know when I haven't done it. It happens when I am most stressed and anxious. Most of the time, I would say 95% of the time I do it and I don't realize that I've done it until there's blood or it hurts or somebody points it out to me, I will just keep doing it. I don't self-inflict them. Like I won't hurt myself to have something to pick at, but if there's something there, I'm going to go for it. And usually I have to put a bandaid over something like immediately when it happens, or I am going to keep picking and picking and picking away at the scab so that I end up with scars, which is why I have scars on my arms and my legs and my face, because that's what I do. This is part of what makes me not want to go out because it makes me feel like people are going to judge me because of that. And overall, I don't usually give a shit when people want to judge me because I know, I know me, I know why I look the way I do, why I am the way I am. But when it's something like this that I can't control and I'm apt to do it while in public, um, 
it's kind of hard. I'm not quite sure what it is that culminated in this feeling lately, but I'm just unhappy with basically everything. I don't like my body, which sucks because I've worked really hard to like myself and accept myself the way that I am, however I am, however I'm looking. And the fact that I can't control what it's doing really, really sucks. I mean, my job, obviously, I can't control. I get very um, stressed taking care of the ladies that I work with. And I could very easily become one of those people that just hardens their heart up and doesn't care and doesn't get invested. But I can't do that because this is who I've always been. And I love that about myself, that I care about people. I am a people person, and to deny that is like, you know, I might as well not even exist. I've, I think a lot of just thinking over the past couple of days has really just pushed me to this point. And there's an article, I'm not going to read all of it to you, I'll link it down below though, um, that I came across on Facebook. And... This is what really uh, cemented it for me, like how I'm feeling lately and just knowing that I need like a big, big, big change in my life. The article's entitled um, 20 Brutal Truths About Life That Nobody Wants to Admit. And like I said, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll touch on the ones, the main ones. You can't make everyone happy. And if you try, you will lose yourself is a million, quadrillion, gazillion, whatever, biggest number, percent true. I wouldn't say that I'm I'm a people pleaser, but I want people to be happy. And I am willing to give them a better treatment than I give myself. I will always treat somebody way better than I will me. And that's not cool, and it's gotten me stuck in feeling things that I never thought that I would, being in situations that I swore um, I wouldn't let myself be in. There's another glaring one that said, your ambition means nothing without execution. It's time to put in the work. In my life, there are only three things that I've ever really wanted for the whole of my life. I have wanted to perform and entertain people. I have wanted to teach and inspire people and I have wanted to be happy and content with the life that I'm living. And right now I may only be doing one of those things in any kind of decent manner. And it's time that I step the fuck up and achieve those things and stop worrying about what everybody else is going to think or what everybody else wants me to do or how everybody else wants me to look or sound or whatever and just do it. And that's what I'm going to do. I took my 100 day challenge. I'm still in the midst of that and have learned something already just from the first month. Um, I did keep track of like how many 100% days that I had and there were about eight, I believe over the course of the month where I did absolutely everything that needed to be done every day, which might seem like a failure. You know, eight days out of 31 is not necessarily a stellar, you know, percentage, but I did 80% or more every single day. There's not a day that I did less than 80. So that in itself says a lot for me that I am capable of doing the things that I was thinking that I couldn't. And I kind of revamped it a little bit um, because there were a couple of things I put on my list that really weren't important after, you know, working through it for a month. I prioritized YouTube in there now that I'm going to be doing something every day in correlation to my channel, this channel. Um, whether that is that I filmed, that I edited, that I uploaded something, that I'm just brainstorming, that I, you know, whatever. Um, to try and make it part of my everyday. And I also added in self-care. 
because while I was doing my routines and taking my meds and keeping track of what I was eating and my exercise, uh, I wasn't always doing things for me. And I know to somebody outside looking at me, if you saw that I spent a whole day basically on the sofa watching TV, that might look like, well, that's your like self time. That's your downtime, isn't it? And it's not. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, sometimes when I'm lounging, that is, you know, my chill time. But lately when I have been in bed for quite a few hours or I have been on the sofa, it is not because it's where I want to be. <laughs> I want to be cleaning the house. I want to be out for a walk. I want to be doing anything else than being stuck where I am. But I'm there because I'm not feeling well. I made it a point to take at least five minutes every day to do something good for myself. Lately that has been doing a face mask, which is kind of good because I'm doing something for me, but I'm also able to do other stuff while it's going on. So and I know that kind of sounds like, you know, you're not really taking time for yourself if you're going to do other stuff with it. But at the same time, it's nice that I can do something to take care of myself and get other things done at the same time. Multitasking. Gotta love it. So that's kind of where I am right now. And I'm just going to start working extra hard on everything and really take a look at what's going on with me and around me and how I'm feeling and what I could possibly do to make all that change because this is no way to be living your life to just kind of be floating through and not be happy and feel like you have no control over anything anymore. If you guys would like to talk more about this, leave me some comments, hit me up on Twitter. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I promise my videos aren't always this blah, but this one kind of needed to happen. And I will see you guys with what I did this week on the Monday. I can't speak anymore, so I think that's time to go. Love you guys. Bye.